So to download the VR2Ws, you need the view software that we get from Vimco. So you just double click that to launch it, of course. Now the first time that you run the view software, you need to set it up. But you don't have to do this every time you run the software. And setting it up properly, make sure that everything downloads properly. So to set up the view software, you click on File. And then you look for the Options button and click on it. This first tab, just change the settings to what you want. And I think it's best to set it to local time. Now the next tab is the most important. You need to set up a folder where you're going to store the VR2 data. And most importantly, for the offload file format, you need to make sure that it includes the CSV files, which we can open in Excel. As for the other tabs, you are probably fine with the defaults on each of these, so I wouldn't mess with them. And of course, when you're done, you hit OK. And now the view software is set up and ready to go. Now when you launch the software, you might notice that it is not detecting a Bluetooth device. And so it shows that here. And if you look at the Bluetooth icon, it shows there's no Bluetooth. So we need to install our Bluetooth adapter so that we can talk to the VR2W. And so this is the adapter that comes with the receivers. And you just plug it into a USB port. And you can tell that it's working because it will light up. Now we have Bluetooth. And it shows up in the software, both here and the icon shows that we have Bluetooth. So now we need to launch the VR2W. When it's recording, the LED light has what I call a double click, which you just saw right there. And that indicates that the receiver is recording, but we need to launch it so that we can connect to it via Bluetooth. So we insert the magnet into the hole, and now you see the light goes into a slow, steady pulse. Now we can connect to the VR2W in the software. Since we have the Bluetooth activated, we can click Device Scan, and it will attempt to connect to the VR2W. But remember, the VR2W has to be activated with the magnet. Once it connects, you'll see the VR2W will show up here in the software, just like it did. And you'll also notice that once it connects, the LED will go from a pulse to a solid light, which also indicates that they're connected. So we can just double click on this icon and open up a dialog window and a connection to that VR2W. Now that we're connected, we can download the data off the VR2W. So we're going to click on the icon that looks like a monitor. And we're going to choose to offload all data. 
It'll ask if our computer's time settings are correct, and they should be. And then you can watch this little bar to look at your progress. Now that went very quickly because there was no data on this VR2. It's brand new. Once you have downloaded the data, you must ensure that you actually saved the data on the hard drive. So we're going to open up the folder that we indicated in the setup in which all the VR2W files are stored. And you should see a CSV file associated with the data you just downloaded. So if you double click that, it should open in Excel. And this is how we're going to double check that we actually did download the data. And you can see the date and the transmitter. And so once you are confident that you actually did download the data, you can close that. But you must double check this before you erase the memory of the VR2W. Once you've downloaded the data, you can start a new study. And this means you will erase all the data on the VR2. So you're going to click on the red button, which is going to launch a new study. You get the same question about the computer time settings, and you're going to want to erase the old data since you just ensured that you downloaded the existing data. Now you need to give the study a description and give the station a name. But again, once you do this the first time, you shouldn't have to do it anymore. The description and the station name should show up automatically. And you can watch the status bar to check the progress of your launching of the new study. And now, the VR2W is ready to go. The last thing you want to do is check the voltage and then close out the connection. And that is how we download the VR2Ws. Thanks a lot.